What's up YouTube, it's JP Dumphy, your BMW genius here at BMW Fort Washington. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the new augmented reality and how that interacts with your driver assistance professional, as well as if we're lucky enough, be able to grab one of the highways where are available for highway assistance, where you can do hands-free driving using, again, driver assistance professional in the new 7 Series. With that, let's get started. Before we hit the road, if you've not seen it here before, if I go into our little options right here, what you're used to usually seeing when you have the driver assistance professional is the Tesla style, where you have the car here, it'll show you cars in front and cars on each side of you in the lanes as well. The newer version that they offer now as an alternative to it is the augmented reality version. This will actually show you the same kind of information, but show you how it targets the car in front, the lane it sees and all that. And I'll be able to show you that once we get on the highway. All right, so here we are about to hop on the highway here. So I can show you this is right now. You can see already that we have a little tiny white line there in our 4K display and directly in front of us. This is basically showing you where it's looking for the car in front of us. Let's jump ahead a little bit here as I get ready to merge over here. That little thing you just heard is to show you that there is a new speed limit on the road. And with that, let's get this thing started. So, right away, here you go. This is now activating as it sees where everything is. So, just like that, it's now found its lane, as you can see from the green lines, as well as our follow distance in front. The little guy up here is actually telling you, I know. Telling us we have a, <laughs> I'm distracted. I kind of am because I am showing you guys this as it goes. And right up there you can also see that it's telling us to turn. I'm gonna keep going down the highway till the next exit, just to show you this again. Now this is where the augmented reality comes in that you saw in the i4. It is giving me a little tiny thing here and telling me I should get over in that lane. So actually no, let's do that in here. There we go. Still finding that lane as it goes. Turn sail off, and it's good. Just coming down here, if you need to see this. I know, take over immediately. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And there it is right there, telling us we need to make the turn up here to get back to the dealership. So, <clears throat> that's basically how the augmented reality works in here. Now, in comparison, let's take that as we go back. Let's do the same thing, but instead use our standard one that we're more used to. So, when we run this right here... Oh, by the way, we also get one on our head display. Let me throw this up there as well so you can see that in action. So in the head display, it's showing us as we change up lanes and whatnot, where to be as well. Uh, I'll try and give you a little bit of a combination of this in the same time. I might go one extra thing down so that way uh, you can do that. You know, see the flashing IR cameras that are seeing how we're doing. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir, for letting me go. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to drive the 7 Series yet, I can tell you, even though this is a big Bertha of a car, it actually handles fantastically. I mean, you get a really good sense of where the car is and everything that matters in a bigger car while still being plenty luxurious here as well. So here, let me see if I can kind of zoom out so you can get both these at the same time. And with that, let's go ahead and activate this. It's telling me that I have a, ch a uh, change coming up and all of that. I'm um, getting the same kind of thing on here. It's just showing me simple in the head up as well as in the instrument cluster here, exactly where I need to be. It's giving me a little tiny pull to the right to let me know, hey, I need to change lanes and get in this one. So very nice. Easy, simple, straightforward. Uh, with that, since I don't want to be too dist too distracted, I'm already kind of breaking a good number of rules by being doing the how I'm doing it now. But what I'd like to do when I get back here is actually show you guys how to change your settings in here because you no longer change it down here because as you can see, we have new the, the new IX style steering wheel with a flat bottom down here. So, quick note, the new head-up display map that you get with iDrive 8 is so much more intricate. Like it actually shows you dynamic zoom, um, close-ups of various things you need to have, as well as uh, which lane to be in as you come up 
to your next turn. So that's something I'll go over in a second. Right, and so all of your driving situations and um, options that you have now, since they're no longer here on your steering wheel, you can still change between the active, let me turn this on real fast, uh, between your active driving modes down here. So you still have traffic jam assist when available. Otherwise you get your standard um, adaptive cruise control or um, driver's assistant as your option on there. But to change your settings now, since you don't have that up here, you now do that down here. So when you go into your driving burger menu and driver's assistance, you gotta go into the driving settings that you have over here. And that's now where you'll find your things like your distance control, um, situational distance control, all that. Or if you want to switch to a standard cruise control, that's right here as well. This is also where you can change up your intersections, how to automatically adjust route from speed, your corner speed, uh, lane guidance with navigation and steering wheel impulse. That's what I was experiencing on the highway there where I told you it was kind of giving me a little pull to the right to let me know, hey, that's where you need to go to get off this one, as well as your assisted driving with automatic lane changes and driver and assisted driving plus. Now, because I was on 309, that means that we weren't on one of the ones that's covered under the HERE uh, HD database where the car can do its own driving hands-free. Um, as well as as long as you're paying attention uh, on closed highways. If I was on the Turnpike or one of the other ones, those are still covered under this. I didn't have an easy pass in the car, so I couldn't actually show you that as it works. But concept's still the same, just similar to uh, Super Cruise and um, various other options out there. Even though at this point, I think the only one that's actually other doing other one doing this to this degree is uh, Super Cruise at this point. Uh, meaning that, meaning that you know, Tesla, while good, you still have to keep your hands on the steering wheel. This is the one. Of, this is one of two options that I'm aware of, unless I'm forgetting some. I'm very well might be. If so, please leave that in the comments below. But um, I believe that's the only two that are doing actual hands-free driving on the highway. Although now I'm thinking about, it, I think Ford has one too that does that. Um, regardless. BMW may not be the first two that, to the party, but they always are the best. At least I still stand behind that. Uh, what other people do well, BMW does great and brilliantly. With that, that's all for today's quick uh, kind of video, going over the new things that you have, the newer setups with augmented reality and your uh, lane keeping assist and all your other driver assistance professional packages available in iDrive 8, starting with the 7 Series as that starts to roll out to the rest of the cars going forward. Any questions about that, that includes things like a head-up display, uh, which is the standard one. You don't get an augmented one in the head-up yet, but who knows, that might come out soon. And how it uses the entire 4K setup for the front. If you found this video cool, helpful, video cool. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. All the standard things that we ask on you. Uh, and again, if you haven't seen it, um, posting this just before our uh, November 7th, uh, that's when the 7 Series overview will be. They'll have this car there. We'll have a 760 as well as an i7 X-Drive 60 there as well. So we'll have all three of the newer 7 Series uh, models coming out at that launch event. So until then, you know, any questions, leave them below. Thanks so much for being here and taking your time.